So at 5.33, let's catch up with the day's sports news and join Hugh today. Hi there. Hello, welcome to Sports Day with me, Hugh Ferris. Our headlines tonight. What we need now is a really good Mike Bushell impersonator to do the sport. <laughs> Well, I've done my best. Oh, I don't know. Do. No, 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 you don't need to Longer do that. Well, you, just, just a couple of inches in the, height. The real hue is all good. <laughs> it's not a hue at all. It is. It's the other hue. Oh, it's the other hue. I'm so <laughs> sorry, Hugh. We've got a monopoly on this segment, I'm afraid. It's just anybody called Hugh. That's all that's allowed. <laughs> Today, never short of stories. The women's number one seed, beaten, and she'll be world number one no more. This, the man who went toe to toe with Rafa for nearly five hours and won. But it was also a day when these two made history. Having a disagreement with a star player doesn't seem to be much of a distraction anymore. We'll tell you about West Ham without Dimitri in a moment, but first Chelsea without Diego. Drama in the curling. It is compulsive watching, I have to say. Yes, I, I was going to compare it to the, the series, television series Mad Men. Uh, something of a slow burner, uh, but uh, dramatic, and uh, the ending is pretty much always satisfying. Well, we yeah, spent the last six to eight weeks trying to find different ways of saying Australia on top. I guess the good news is for only one more morning we'll have to say that. But the bad news is that Australia dominated the penultimate day of the Ashes, which is heading for a 4-0 series win for the home side. He scored the goal that ended City's 35-year wait for a trophy. And he has been here for every single one since. Ladies and gentlemen, Yaya Torre. We've just seen the incredible contribution that you have made to this club. How proud are you of the mark that you have left on Manchester City? Another American causing a stir in Pyeongchang is this teenager, Chloe Kim, a snowboarder, just 17 years old. And rather charmingly, she's behaving like it too. She led qualifying in the women's half-pipe event, doing so on an empty stomach, tweeting this could be down for some ice cream right now, she said, at the exact time, as Spencer Wren noticed, that she should have been competing. But swing around this way, because a little bit later on, the feature event of the evening, it is once again Australia against Great Britain. Who will take home the gold in the men's team pursuit? But we start with what's being described as a fight for the history books. And usually when a promoter says that, we take it with something of a pinch of salt. But this time, the man who has helped put together Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko might actually be right. Welcome to Emirates Old Trafford and the continuation of the second Investec test between England and Pakistan. This crowd fresh from a day where they all stood in appreciation of a Yorkshireman. You don't get that here very often. Manchester City are Premier League champions for the third time in six years and they won the title thanks to a defeat for their nearest rivals and while their manager was on the golf course. You're right, Simon, it is incredibly tense. You can understand why every four years we have some, something of a love affair uh, with curling. Yeah, I need to show you some other bits of Mad Men that I think you must have missed. But anyway... Um, <laughs> not, not at this time of the day. I think it's completely inappropriate, <laughs> but still. That's all, though, from Sports Day. Thanks for joining us. Good night.